First words I think about when I think about Pat are forward thinking. He is driven, determined. Inspirational. It was always about making things better. Really relates to everybody is the fact that he's kind of like a, a people's person. He's not afraid to do the work with you. It comes from a place of selflessness. I've never seen a man work so hard. I can't even picture him without a smile on his face. By taking it a step further beyond just understanding who they are professionally, he's able to really pull more out of people than I think they're aware that they can get out of themselves. And he actually really creates deep connections with all of his contacts. Pat's always been such a dedicated team member in so many different facets of his life. It makes him very relatable. He's the kind of person that shows empathy and he brings out the best in people. I'm passionate about serving the at-risk communities and underserved youth. I'm a product of, of immigrant parents. My parents came here from Ireland in their 20s. They instilled in me the value of an education and the ability to pull yourself up by being educated. He's very proud of his roots. He's proud of being a small guy from New Jersey. I think being able to, to pay it forward and, uh, and, and live the passion of what my parents instilled in me is, is just something that I grew up with and uh, being able to do it at this stage of my life is, is I view as a gift. I think Pat embodies servant leadership in so many different ways. And part of that was a learned behavior from his brother, Ed. I established the Edward Walsh Class of 87 Memorial Endowed Scholarship Fund here at Seton Hall in memory of my brother, uh, in coordination with my sister-in-law, my niece, and my nephew. Uh, we lost my brother in August of 2020 to a heart attack. My brother was the inspiration for bringing me to Seton Hall. Uh, I had uh, a lot of different things rattling around in my head. Uh, we grew up down in Balesburg, and uh, my brother, from a very young age, wanted to attend Seton Hall. And uh, he was passionate about it. From the day he got here as an undergraduate and a law school graduate, he, uh, he was actively involved in the universe, actively involved in law school. And we knew it was a passion of his. Education was a passion of his. Helping those that were disadvantaged was was what he was all about. Pat and Ed had such a unique relationship. He was just full of life. We were fortunate to grow up um, in close proximity to him. He valued giving back and um, spending time with his family. Endowed Scholarship Fund and the foundation we create is just another way that we can hopefully keep his memory alive to generations that maybe never had the opportunity to meet him. When I first heard Pat's receiving this award, I figured it's a, it's about time. It's just outstanding. It almost brought a tear to my eye. It's, it's very, very complimentary. Really happy for Pat. So proud of him for the, for the accomplishments that he has and uh, looking forward to all the accomplishments that I know he will achieve in the future. We could not be more proud of you as an alumnus of the Stillman School. I just want to congratulate Pat, obviously, for all his hard efforts over his career. Congratulations, it's well deserved. There are plenty of people, myself included, who you have really um, helped guide in their profession and led them to where they are today. I know that Pat Walsh was humbled also by having uh, been selected as our most distinguished alumnus this year, and we want to extend our congratulations to him. Congratulations, Pat. I'm so excited for you. On behalf of our network of over 100,000 alumni, we congratulate Pat for being our 2023 Most Distinguished Alumnus. We're very proud of you and um, we love you. I mean, I'm so proud of you, honey, for this honor. It's been an incredible year. 2023 has been great. I think we, this is gonna go down in the books as one of the greatest years that we had together. I look at some of the prior recipients and I scratch my head to wonder how I deserve such an incredible honor. Um, it is uh, it's something I, I do not take for granted and uh, an honor I will work to live up to for the rest of my life.